Okay, this is how you can T-weld or butt-weld a neon electrode onto a neon tube. Uh, you mark the end of the tube where you want to make the fire cut exactly where you want the end of the tube to be. It's a very precise way of terminating a tube. Keep the hand torch rotating in exactly one spot. Pull up sharply, keeping the heat on. And you can, by blowing and keeping the heat on, blowing in and out, you can make the nipple relax. The new lead-free tubing is a little more difficult to work with, but uh, if you keep the heat on, gravity will take over and the tube should relax. You can see I'm blowing in and out to kind of help force the nipple down. For the purposes of this tape, I didn't uh, hurry. I hurried up the project a little bit, and so keeping the heat on. Then I take the single fire torch and apply heat to the top side of the tube. As you blow, the um, bubble will form, and as it cools, you can blow harder, and that will force the shoulders of the bubble out. So by between the heat and the blowing forcing the shoulders out, you can control the size of your bubble. Blow sharply, strike it off, smack the end to get rid of the little stuff. Now you can immediately put the heat on for your electrode. Keeping your hand torch rotating the entire time. It's very important that heat gets all around uh, evenly. When you're ready, you can stick the electrode. Now probably the most important part is you have to keep the heat on, letting the glass meld together well. The line between the tube and the electrode should disappear completely with enough heat and patience. The glass will kind of condense and collapse, and that's fine because you're going to blow it out in a few seconds. Pull up and blow out gently, straighten, and you're just about done. To do an offset weld for a typical Lumicron neon clock, move the hand torch up and bounce up and down while rotating. That'll heat the next section of glass for an offset. Usually they're offset exactly 12 millimeters or the width of the electrode. When the glass is nice and liquid you can simply offset and blow. Keeping the heat on at all times right underneath in case you have to make some adjustments or mess around. And that's it. You're done. And here you can see the net result of a double butt weld and a neon clock circle. Electrodes are spaced properly apart to fit into the clock.